All right, guys. Hey, we almost got where we were going. At least we got two thirds of the way there. So uh, keep those uh, keep those gratitudes coming. It is awesome to be with you today. The word of the day is volatility. Can you say that with me? Volatility. Oh, oh, great. You did it. Thanks, man. I'm just messing around, guys. Um, hey, listen, have you been paying attention to what's going on in the stock market this week? I mean, some funny, fun, interesting stuff. And uh, I, I've heard, heard some really interesting stories. So uh, I, I want to share a few thoughts and we'll kind of wrap it all around the real estate market. But just some interesting things that have been going through my mind. I'm not going to get into what's happening in the stock market, but if you want to hear some interesting things that are happening right now, I mean, go pay attention to it. It's really cool, specifically with the uh, GameStop, uh, uh, GameStop uh, company and all of that. It's so interesting. So um, the point that's, that's got my attention is right now, when you if you log into like uh, an investment banking account or anything like that, there's going to be a warning that pops up. First thing that says, warning, volatile market conditions right now. And, and um, there's all these different elements and then specific stocks that have this warning right now before you do it. And so I've been thinking about that word volatile and, and uh, just let me just give you the, the definition really quickly. Volatility, the liability to change rapidly and unpredictably especially for the worse. Think about that. Liability to change rapidly and unpredictably, especially for the worse. Think about the interesting thought there, the ups, downs, ups, downs, ebbs, flows. And boy, I mean, I'm not going to get into this right now, but you just think about it. If I were to say, think about the, the words of the foundation, okay? You could start with uh, your purpose, why, vision, uh, your business plan, your schedule, um, your discipline and accountability, um, your mindset, your skill set, your systems in your business. That's the, the foundation. Okay. We've got that word um, volatility. So now I've got, I, I looked up to say, okay, well, I want to know what is the antonym or the opposite of volatility. These are the words that are used. Level-headedness, practicality, reasonability, um, firmness, fixedness, immovability, uh, immutability, uh, invariability. I mean, just these words that are like steady, strong, consistent, right? Think about that. Volatility versus, um, it's probably, I should have done volatile, I guess, is probably the easier way to do it, but um, probably that fixed, you know, steady. So when you start to kind of put those two words, right? If you had like a, uh, I, I'd say some type of a, uh, <sighs> what would be the right way to say it, whether it's a graph or a chart or a spectrum, whatever you might want to say, um, you'd say, where do you land? Like if you went after each thing on the um, foundation and you said, okay, foundation, uh, my, my schedule, if there was a spectrum and one side was steady and immovable and the other side was um, this volatile volatility where would you land there right i mean it's kind of interesting and if you're like me it's easy to kind of move and that's the pure definition of volatility especially early in my real estate career i mean it's it's crazy when you think about it so i i was thinking about this and it's it brought up a story that i remember and it's one of those great stories that i've always loved and it's the story of two people hired to do the exact same job, two people that are hired to accomplish the same task, but they have a different set of skills. And it's this, these two men were hired, it could be two women too, it doesn't matter. Uh, two individuals were hired and they were hired to chop down trees and stack the wood, splitting wood. One of these individuals was this big, brawny, strong, tough person. And the other person was a small, skinny, weak individual. The big, the big person, the big guy could have a big old, strong, double-headed axe where the little person could barely carry their small axe. And the story goes that the, uh, 
the, the big strong guy also just outworked the other person, chopping trees down, working through lunch, staying late, coming early, whatever it might be. And then you had the other person that was sitting down, taking a lunch break, showed up right on time, left right on time, and uh, just did, did the job. And the interesting part is, is that the one guy had his big stack. He was way, in the, way ahead of the other one. And then over time, as the week went on, the stack started changing where all of a sudden they leveled out and they had the same amount of wood stacked. Continued on the same schedule, same behavior. And all of a sudden, the little guy had a larger stack of wood that was built there. Finally, the big guy comes up and says, hey, what is going on? How do you have more wood than I have right now? I work harder than you. I take fewer breaks than you take. I've got a big, stronger ax. I've never taken a break. And the guy says, that's the issue. You've never stopped to sharpen your ax. I love that story. He's never stopped to sharpen his ax. And uh, when you think about that, and you think about this world of volatility, steadiness, whatever it is you might be looking for in your real estate right now, whatever areas you may be struggling in, have you paused for a moment to sharpen that ax? Have you paused for a moment to look at that real estate foundation and make a critical decision as to where you are, what area you want to be, and what it's going to take to get there. Because you see, every endeavor that has ever been accomplished, ever, in my view, worth anything, started with a dream. Somebody knew what they wanted. And I'm going to just stay right there. And I'm going to assume everybody on this call right now, you know what you want. You've established it. You've defined it. Starts with a dream. Second, it has to have a plan, right? And some of this is sharpening the ax in my view, right? You're getting the tools ready for you to succeed. You have to put the plan in place. And then of course, third, it takes action, execution, right? Ooh, I shouldn't be talking about axes and execution in the same, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you've, got your, you've got to get going with execution, making things happen, putting it together, and that is the critical element. When you combine those three things, it works like a dream. I love the example. I've shared this before. I'll never stop sharing it because it's so true. If the dream is the destination, then the plan is your roadmap. If the dream is the destination, then the plan is your strategy, the approach. Again, I, I look at that and I can't help but think, if you were to say, I want to drive to New York City right now, and you just got on the road and said, all right, I'll head east and arrive in New York City. Will you eventually arrive in New York City? Yes, you will. Eventually, you will, right? But if you committed to getting there as quickly as possible, what you're likely to do Getting there as quickly as possible with the most economically smart way too, which is important to people, you're going to create a plan. You're going to say, this is what time I'm leaving. This is how many hours it takes to get there. Wow, there's two different routes I can take. This route is longer, but it's safer. This route might be shorter, but there's some bad weather along. I mean, there's some interesting dynamics that we all know we'd work through, wouldn't you? I mean, I drove to Oregon last month and I was game planning the entire way to Oregon because there were some storms and I was making decisions. Am I taking the Highway 20? Am I driving through Portland? All of these different things that I'm having to work through. I know we do this. So when it comes to your business right now, and you're looking at the volatility. And the reason why this is so funny to me is because I've been talking to a lot of people who do day trades and things like that. And what's interesting is uh, there's one individual I've spoken with that with all the craziness going on and all of the people who have put money into these stocks and earned a big return that then have lost it 
right? Like I had one guy he earned fifty thousand dollars in one day uh, a couple days ago, and it was gone the next morning. Gone the next morning. I mean, can you imagine the volatility of that? Fifty thousand dollars in one afternoon, gone the next morning. But there have been other people who are committed to their process, their objectives, and their goals. They've stayed away from the volatility. They stayed away from the nonsense. And what they've done is they've stayed committed to their game plan. And they've earned a steady amount of money over the last few days during all of this. So interesting to see what's happening. But guys, my, uh, my encouragement today, my thoughts are totally surrounded on the idea of just a little self-reflection. Look at yourself. Look at that spectrum of, well, where do I land? Where do I land as it relates to my business, my prospecting, my schedule, my mindset? Um, am, I, am I on the volatile side of it? Am I on the steady, consistent side of it? And it is, there's no, no comment other than guess what? You can choose today to get a little bit better. I was having a visit yesterday with one of our great agents and telling me about his son and his basketball team. And, and this son wants to be an NBA player. I mean, he's talking to his dad about, hey, I can't wait to get my $26 million contract and be in the NBA and all this cool stuff, which is like, as a parent, you're so excited, right? And you love hearing that kind of thing. Um, but my friend said that he also started thinking like, when his son says those things, it's sort of like, Okay, yeah, I mean, like how many people actually make it to the NBA, right? But he's very encouraging. You know, he's pushing his son, helping him, providing all the opportunities. Here's where it gets really cool, in my opinion, is instead of like saying, yeah, let's make sure we're focused totally on the NBA, he said to his son, well, if you want to get to the NBA, you've got to get better than Jason and Johnny on your team. So that's, let's make that your first goal. Let's have you be a better player than those two on your team. And then we'll work on the next two. I mean, the, the, the father says, I mean, my son's the, the, probably the fourth worst of a 10 person team. And so it's kind of cool when you think about right now, you're not going to be in the NBA tomorrow, but can you be better than Johnny? Can you work on that over the next week? Yes, you can. So if you're looking at you, if I'm looking at me, we're saying, hey, look, I know what I want. Even if it's not defined on paper, you know what you want. So what does it take to get there? And that's the great plan. What steps need to happen for me to get there? And then, of course, part of the foundation, what are some of the great accountability options I can put in play to ensure that I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do? So, guys, kind of a fun, interesting thoughts today. Those are the things that have been going through my mind. You got the volatility, the steadiness. People are succeeding without engaging in the volatility uh, department. You got the idea of the, uh, you know, you, you can certainly outwork people, but you've got to make sure you've got a plan. You're sharpening the axe, sharpening the tools that are, uh, that are right in your, um, tool, your tool bag, right? What are those things? And for most agents, your greatest assets are your time and your talents. And so because of that, are you taking the, taking the time to sharpen those? And then, of course, we've got to continue, continue the dream. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll comment on uh, one person that I think is so inspiring this way and, and believes it. This is what I think is the coolest part. Anything we say, any person that we are right, you have to believe it. Um, for those of you who are in Utah, if you know uh, one of our great leaders, Lindsay Wardle, I love that she keeps every year she's committed. She puts up her dream board in her office. And if you're ever walking by her office, you can see it hanging on the wall. The things that are important to her are right in front of her face all day. They're in the area where she has to get on and make phone calls, set appointments, stay at the office and work. And I guarantee you, Probably more than once a day, she can look up in the board and be like, got to make those calls because that's who I want to become. Those are the things I want. So put those things close to you. I've told the story before about uh, one of our great uh, previous employees, my first, one of my first brokers and certainly a great friend, Linda Parker, Dave Parker's mom. 
when I went into her office, when we were thinking of opening up our own real estate brokerage, um, I went into Linda's office one day and what do you see in her office on sticky notes everywhere? The number 10 everywhere on the lamp, on the light switch, on the computer, on the keyboard. And we say, what is 10? And she says, oh, I want to get 10 listings. So I've got 10 everywhere. It's also on my steering wheel, on my dashboard, on my radio button, on my phone. She has the number 10 on a sticky note. And do you think she got 10 listings, guys? I mean, when you throw yourself out there, absolutely she did. It's remarkable. Anybody on this call want 10 listings right now? Right? Everybody. It's crazy. Figure out the way to make it done, make it happen. You've got the dream. You have the dream. Put it to pen and paper, create that plan, go out and take action and watch amazing thing happen. So, and guys, look, so often it feels like I'm preaching to the choir because you've shown up. You are here on this call. And honestly, that is like 99% of the journey is just showing up. It's so big. So kudos to you. Thank you for always participating. Uh, I'm honored to be able to spend a few minutes with you and uh, just think you're all amazing and wonderful. And let me see how many comments. You're okay at comments, okay? You're wonderful in all these other ways. You're okay at commenting on these, these live things. Just kidding. All right, guys, go out there. Have an awesome day. Thanks for being uh, at Morning Ascent today. And uh, let's rock and roll. Let's do some 